Well, since I got a, this question quite a lot, I wanted to make a short video about the differences between the Italian language and the Spanish language. In fact, there are many professors that argue that Spanish and Italian are actually two dialects of the same language. I'm from the north of Italy, okay, the region of Milan, and there we speak a certain kind of dialect, okay, that is spoken only in that region, really. And uh, I can say that Spanish is more similar to Italian than my dialect is, which is actually quite interesting. If you, your question was whether the Italian understand the Spanish and the Spanish understand the Italian, I would say that the Italian tend to understand 70% of the Spanish language, while the Spanish tend to understand around 50% of the Italian language. But what is very interesting actually to me, and very funny really, is that many of the words we use in Italian and Spanish actually have different meanings. And good examples of it, I actually found it on YouTube, on Google. Google is your friend. This one is actually one of my favorites. Let me give it to you. Burro. Burro in Italian means butter, while in Spanish it means donkey, which is quite funny. I actually don't know why it is like that, but let's see if it says. No, well, by the way, butter in Spanish would be mantequilla, which means absolutely nothing to us. And, oh, this one is very nice, and it's quite, for example, for us, to salire means to go up, while for the Spanish, it means to go out, okay? And I don't know why, but my best guess is that back in Roman times, uh, I don't know, maybe Spanish houses were like more like basements, so for them to go up meant to go out, which is not the, which was not the case in in Italy of the let's say the Italian part of the Roman Empire. No idea. This one is really funny. Vinegar in Italian is aceto, but in Spanish uh, the word aceite means olive oil. And so it's, it can get quite confusing. So aceite and aceto. These are just some examples of the difference between Italian and Spanish. So as I said. Is it possible to communicate between Italian and Spanish without knowing each other's language? Yes and no at the same time. I would say if it was basic communication, you know, we're using a bit of hands, we're both very, you know, we like moving our hands when we, when we speak. So you can certainly get by. Whether it can be, a, you can have a meaningful conversation for hours, very unlikely. But basic communications, 100% yes, I would say. I hope you found this interesting and if you have any comments about it, by the way, if there is anything I forgot or I said something wrong, please do let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Cheers.